This implies that either A is equal to 0, or B is equal to 0, or C is equal to 0. See, if we assume A is equal to 0, we are saying here that 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So x should be equal to 2x is equal to 1, x is equal to half. Or x plus 3 is equal to 0. This implies that x is equal to minus 3. Or x minus 2 is equal to 0. This implies that x equals to 2. Therefore, the possible values for x will be x is equals to minus 3 or half or 2. It is known that x minus 1 and x minus 2 are the factors of f of x equals to x cubed plus ax squared minus 7x plus b, where a and b are constants. Find the values of a and b f of x equals x cubed plus ax squared minus 7x plus b where x minus 1 and x minus 2 are factors. So, going by our factor theorem, if x minus 1 is a factor, this implies that, this implies that f of 1 should be equal to 0 and f of 2 should be equal to 0. So now, let's substitute in this our polynomial. Let's get f of 1. This is equal to 1 cube plus a times 1 square minus 7 times 1 plus b. This is equal to 0. So, 1 plus a minus 7 plus b is equal to 0. a plus b is equal to 7 minus 1. a plus b is equal to 6. We call this equation 1. Also, f of 2 is equal to 0. So, 2 cube plus a times 2 square minus 7 times 2 plus b is equal to 0. 8 plus 4a minus 14 plus b is equal to 0. 4a plus b is equal to 14 minus 8. 4a plus b is equal to, we call this equation 2. We now have to solve equation 1 and 2 simultaneously. This is 4a plus b is equal to 6. That's our equation 2. I bring down the equation 1. a plus b is equal to 6. So that equation 1. So let's subtract equation 1 from equation 2. 4a minus a gives us 3a. B minus B goes off, we are left with 6 minus 6, which is 0. This implies that A is equal to 0 all over 3, which is equal to 0. And the value of A is equal to 0. Now let's get the value of B. We substitute into any of the equations. Let's take equation 1. 0 plus B is equal to 6. This means that b is equal to 6. So I now have the values of a and b. So let's rewrite our polynomial. This will be equal to f of x is equal to x cubed plus a is 0. So this term goes off minus 7x plus b is equal to 6. Now, we are asked to also factorize this 
to also factorize this polynomial. We know that x minus 1 is a factor, so we can divide this polynomial by x minus 1. What do I, what do I multiply x to get x cubed? That should be x squared. x squared times x gives me x cubed. x squared times minus 1 gives me minus x squared. I subtract. x cubed minus x goes off. So I have 0 x squared there minus minus x squared. So this gives me x squared. I bring down the other terms. Minus 7x plus 6. What do I multiply x to get x squared? That should be plus x. x times x. x squared. x times minus 1 minus x. I subtract. x squared minus x squared 0. Minus 7x minus minus x. That should give us minus 6x plus 6. What do I multiply x to get minus 6x? That should be minus 6. Minus 6 times x is minus 6x. Minus 6 times minus 1 gives me plus 6. I have this quadratic which I need to factorize. So I have x squared plus x minus 6. We compare this to the general quadratic function ax squared plus bx plus c. a is 1, c is minus 6. So the product of the factors is equal to 1 times minus 6, which is minus 6. Then the sum of the factors should be equal to 1. So, what two numbers do I multiply to get minus 6 and when added should give us 1? So, if I take minus 3 times 2 or 3 times minus 2. So, I see here that if I say 3 plus minus 2 gives me 1. So this is what is required. I use this to factorize. We have x squared plus 3x minus 2x minus 6. What is common here? x is common. x plus 3. What is common there? Minus 2. x plus 3. x plus 3. 